shit, you know me just making it. Man, you know, I had to hit you up, bro. I kind of been seeing your name going trending, damn near viral. I was wondering if I could chop it up with you about some of the things I've been hearing. What's up, bro? Bro, I've been, I seen, uh, like, the fans been tagging me in all kind of shit with you. And I guess a video that was released, I guess, with Chicago Real News or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, video. Yeah, bro, all the fans saying shit about you having something linked to do with Pappy and all kind of shit. You think we can speak on that? Uh, well, really, uh, what I got to say about this, niggas gonna say what they want to say, niggas gonna think what they want to think. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Right. Do you know how that guy came out came out about? Do you know exactly how the rumor and shit started? Yeah, I, I would um, sum it up. I say they just listening to a word of another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Another nigga got on there talking slick, saying this and that, and they put one to one and one together and they equal two, and they ran with it. Right. Have you caught any backlash from that in the street? Anybody uh, approach you? Anything like that? Nah, niggas don't want no smoke, man. Niggas already know what it is with us. All right, bro. I want to know, though, what the rumors people been seeing. Is you clearing your name? Is you seeing that false and shit? Say that again, bro. Are you saying that the Are you saying that the rumors and shit false? You clearing your name, right? I know. I really ain't even got shit to say about it, period. Because, you know what I'm saying? If anybody asks me who killed Young Pappy, Young Pappy killed Young Pappy. He was a little disrespectful-ass nigga. Everything that came out of his mouth was something derogatory towards another nigga. So... Shit, whatever happened to do, he brought that on himself. Right. Uh, shit, how, how do you feel about that video being released, though, in, in the comment section with your name and shit being brought up in there? Did you feel some type of way about that? Have you reached out Hell. to Chicago World News? Hell no, nah, bro. We, oh, yeah, I fuck with Chicago World News, but um, as far as them comments and shit, bro, we, we just get a good laugh out of that shit every day. Because a lot of them niggas ain't no shit but blowing smoke. Uh, if if motherfuckers is really gonna make a move, it have been made. And it have been dead for what, two years now? That was May 29th, 2015? Right. It's got down 2017. Right. Bro, niggas just running their mouths, bro. Right. Ain't nobody, nobody on that shit. Right. Bro, what's up with you in this rap shit, bro? I remember a little while ago you had an issue with Lufo. Have he ever talked to you? Have you ever cleared that? I don't know. That nigga, that nigga stay duck in action. That nigga don't even come to the city no more. Yeah, have you reached out to you, bro? Nah, that nigga, that nigga act like he ain't on. That nigga ignore anything coming this way from that side of town, you know? Shit, it is what it is, though. Yeah. I'm not sure you do him as long as he stay out one way, we good. Right, bro. You know what you being from the West Side, you know, I'm not sure if, if everybody in the rap world know exactly who you is, but uh you pretty street orientated. You know, I did my homework. Everybody say Dirty Red's a real official street cat. I want to ask you something, bro. With the violence kind of surging last year, you know, last year was a spike about 700 some murders. Was this something specifically that happened in the city of Chicago that raised the murder rate? Uh, last year? Nah, man. And shit, it's just, it just is what it was, man. Niggas was scoring and niggas was trying to get them licks back. That's all it was. And shit, niggas was hitting more than they was missing last year. Niggas always been shooting. Niggas just getting a little bit more bad, I guess. <laughs> right. Bro, how is it for you out there, though, Red, bro? Is it is it cool for you to go in the store, man, go get you a bottle or something? Oh, man, I move, I move regardless, bro. I ain't never gonna let nobody dictate my pace cut shit. If when I start doing that, that's when you get caught flipping. I'm gonna do me and let them do them. Yeah. You shit, know, whatever happens, let the chips fall where they may. Right. You know, the West Side kind of been trending lately with uh, uh, talks of that the rappers are not so much unified. Is it unity out there with rappers and all the West Side rappers linking up? No, man. It's about where you're from, bro. Niggas don't. It ain't even the west side, the south side, east side thing. It's about niggas click up with who they with and where they from because niggas ain't fucking with other niggas because another nigga might be cool with another nigga. And if you get saw with that nigga, then now you guilty. Now they into it. They ain't fucking with you. You get caught and get busted across your head just because you was standing next to the wrong nigga. But what if you're not involved in this shit? What if you was just doing a record with a motherfucker? It, that shit, it should work like that, bro. But my fuck, you guilty by association, bro. I think matter of fact, that reminds me of some shit. Y'all can't be saying one day something. That nigga said you ain't no, you ain't from over there, but you over there. Let the nigga, then the nigga say that one day something. Right, that's true. So that's how it is. Ain't no. Do you think the writers will ever stop, bro? 
Look, what if they gave, look, what if something happened where, you know, the uh, president gave everybody $25,000? Is it a bigger problem than money? The violence still going to go on? Yeah, it's a bigger problem than money, man. He's going to take that $25,000 and get them some more guns and some more kids. <laughs> it's going to get worse because then niggas going to be fighting over territory. Okay. They're going to be happy. Okay, Red, what if they gave you a grin, bro? What if what if they gave you a grin and said, uh, they need you to come up with an idea to make the community safe for anything you need, no matter how much money it is, they gonna give it to you. What would you say? I said I tell them come on with it and we get we I sit down and we put something together that'll help the community because you gotta stop somewhere. So what do you and think will help though? Cause don't nobody never tell me that. Everybody tell me it won't stop, but they don't give me an idea of like, like is it maybe like a, a, a alternative program, basketball teams or something? You gotta put something out there, man. Them kids ain't got no outlets, man. You know what I'm saying? They they got nothing to look forward to. They go to school and they come home. They ain't got ain't no ain't no boys and girls club. They they mean niggas. Niggas in the hood, they don't do shit like go to the boys and the girls club, no boys. I mean, ain't no after school programs, no peace projects. It, it's nothing for them to do. Most of them have to get in with the nigga on the next block to shoot and kill each other. That's all, see, that's all they know. Uh, um, would you bring it up the next block? I want to know something, Red. If somebody new just moved on your block, bro, nigga about maybe 24 years old, young dude just moved on your block, y'all don't know who he is. Is he instantly a op? Nah, man, that, that, you, we don't move like that. If niggas don't got a problem with us, we ain't got a problem with them. Like, niggas don't even gang bang like that no more. Right. The issue we got with a nigga is personal. We got an issue with him for X, Y reason. We ain't, we ain't know how nigga you from over there and you came over here type shit. No, now we got a problem with niggas over there and you come from over there where they ain't shit. It is what it is. Right. Like, Any new projects, bro? What's going on with this music shit, bro? I feel like you about ready to break out, bro. Bro, I got a lot of shit coming, bro. I got a mixtape that I'll probably do around. Probably this next week, actually. I got a couple of videos of that timing and putting everything out in the right time. It ain't about the music, now it's about the time. You got to make sure everything right, make sure the climb is right for your shit, and then you got to go and rock out, you going to rock. Yeah. You know, I heard a rumor that you was keying the JoJo name. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with you being affiliated with all these kind of people, bro, I think it wouldn't, wouldn't be so safe for a Dirty Red out there, bro. <laughs> See, like, that's the thing. You, you be, it, it amaze you, bro, who will kin to who, bro. Because that's, that's the whole reason why I'm, why I'm caught up in that type of shit. Because, you know, Pappy always dissing teeth. That's my, that's my cousin Cortez, so. Oh. It, it, it's just... You never know who's kidding who. That's why you got to watch what you say. Right. Because you never know who's going to knock on your door about this shit. Right. That is true, bro. You know, I hear a lot about the name Teezy, bro. You think you can break down who that is? Uh, Teezy, his name, his real name is Cortez Reed. He's from, God damn it, uh, from, from Asia. Right. He was a soul from over there. He got killed over there. You know what I'm saying? Right. I hear his name a lot though, bro. Either people saying it in a good way or saying it in a negative way. Y'all don't like that negative shit, huh? No, we ain't playing them type of games, bro. Yeah. I already know what it is. Man, that's crazy, bro. Shit. So, uh, the people want to get up with you though, Red, bro. Somebody want to give you a bag of money. One of these other sites want to get up with you, bro. Cause I think you got a crazy story, bro. Where can they find you at? Uh, Dirty Red 219. Hey, Dirty Red 219. That shit. Anything. Snapchat. Facebook, Twitter. What about SoundCloud? Instagram. Uh, nah, I ain't got no SoundCloud. Oh. I put all my music on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, and the YouTube channel, Dirty Red 219 too? Nah, the YouTube is AMCNT. Uh, bro, uh, and any records people can go 